Hello everybody. Firstly, apologies for being so late today. Um, I get to 25 past 12 and I'm all ready to go. I go to log in. Hey presto, I've got no microphone and no camera. Uh, so it would have been a little bit weird. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're here. We're late. Uh, I don't know whether anybody's still here. Uh, if you are, just let me know in the comments, please, uh, and thank you for waiting. If not, then uh, I'll send out the recording of this and we can, uh, we can see where we go from there. So uh, many apologies. So today uh, we're live on uh, my podcast. Uh, so welcome podcast listeners. This is about video, but um, you'll be able to follow along without too much trouble. Uh, we're streaming on uh, LinkedIn, we're streaming on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, as I've said, we're also live on my podcast, which is on uh, iTunes, Amazon Music and about 30 others. So we have got a few people here, so that's good. Thank you, uh, whoever that is, <laughs> for being here. Um, so, uh, yeah, today we're going to look at video and specifically you know, we all do videos, or a lot of us do, you know, we, we do videos, and you know, you, you only need to go onto LinkedIn to see that there's loads and loads of videos uh, uh, being up, uh, loaded every day, uh, but t today, what I want to talk to you about specifically, really, I suppose, comes down to conversion rate, you know, if you upload a video, how many inquiries do you get as a result of that? And uh, secondly, how do you improve that? Because whatever it is, it probably needs to be better. You know, we can always improve on anything. And uh, I want to talk to you about how to do that. Now, firstly, what we've got to think about before we think about the actual production of the video, which is going to be the main part of what I've got to say today, uh, I just want to kill this off because it's such an important thing, <clears throat> excuse me, and that is traffic, you know, you, you have got to put, it's no use doing a really nice video with this script that I'm going to talk to you about in a few minutes, if nobody's watching it, you know, we've got to get traffic, it is, uh, you know, it's like the lifeblood, it's like getting oxygen, you know, you, you must put time, money, or effort, or all three, into getting traffic to your video. Um, and without that, you know, it, it, you know, you get a few people watching it and stuff, and that's fine. But if you're really serious about growing your, your business, and you see LinkedIn as a great opportunity, and you see video as a great opportunity, then traffic is the first thing we need to work on. Now, I'm not covering that in this video, uh, suffice to say, uh, you know, I've done other videos. You can go and listen to me somewhere else talking about traffic. If you look at the board on the back, actually, um, I'm talking about a video sales letter there. And I talk about using social media, YouTube, adverts, blogs, doing live streams like this, doing webinars, having a podcast, doing email, doing LinkedIn and so on. So there's I don't know, six or seven ways you can do that. Uh, but let's focus on uh, structure, structure of the video. Let's assume that we've got people who've come onto LinkedIn. You've uploaded that video, by the way, onto LinkedIn, not onto YouTube, and then created a link. That's okay, but LinkedIn don't really like that. If you can look at it from LinkedIn's point of view, if you're going to click on that video, that means you're going to go off LinkedIn and go and look at that video on YouTube. LinkedIn are not that keen to get people away from their platform and onto their rivals platform. And so as far as it being picked up by the LinkedIn algorithm, let's just say there's less chance of that happening. So we want to upload directly onto LinkedIn. We also, because this is, whilst it's a, 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 an information video, that's what we're going to be talking about, a video that you provide some information, some advice, some, it's not just like, you know, do you want to buy this, do you want to buy that, or do you want to buy something else, you know, well, that's not the way to behave and to do things on LinkedIn, but it, it is a information video, but this is a short one. This is not like, you know, 10 minutes. It's not an hour long. This is like a 
a 30 second, probably more like a minute to two minute video. OK, so at this point, you might want to go and get a pen and a piece of paper or have some way of, you know, writing things down, because I want to go through what I call my six step structure uh, for a video. OK, so step one, step one is you introduce yourself and say hello and build credibility for you. So this is my version of that. You've got to think of your version. So I'd say something like, Hi, welcome. My name is Steve Mills. Thank you for being here. You may or may not know that I've spent over 28 years helping small businesses to grow. And in that time, I've written four books on marketing. End of that section. So that section is about building credibility for me. It's like, why should you listen? Well, he's been around for a long time and he's written four books on it. He must know what he's talking about. That's the alleged thing. Hopefully that's true. You make your own mind up at the end. Section two. Today, I'm going to talk about X. That's important because of Y. OK, so again, I might do today. I'm going to talk to you about how to get uh, results on LinkedIn, how to win more business from LinkedIn advertising. I think that's really important to small businesses because we all know that right now times are really tough. OK, so you get that idea. I and mean, It's very important to use the word because uh uh, actually, and, and the reason behind that is we are programmed to to do whatever comes after that or to believe whatever comes after that. So so uh, from a sales perspective, from an influence perspective, the word because is a really, really powerful word. So that's step two. Then we do what I call a pattern interrupt. This is where I'm sure you've been in a conversation where somebody's almost like forgotten what they were saying. And that's where you come in to that. So let me just explain how that goes. So if I said, uh, just finish off, off the last bit, because we all know how tough times have been. Now, just one thing before I talk about that, let me just tell you about an event that I've got coming up next Friday. So that's the pattern interrupt, yeah? So, so it's like, today we're going to talk about X. That's really important because of Y. Oh, before I do, let me just tell you about this, right? Now, the reason we don't do that at, at the end is, guess what? What do you think it might be? It's because not everybody's going to get to the end of your video, right? Some of them are going to leave before. So we're going to, in a way, pitch them or try and get them to do something. Oh, by the way, I've written a report on how to do this. Uh, you'll find it at steve-mills.com. Um, now, where was I? And this is where we go back to, to providing the value, okay? So let me just reiterate where we've gone from. Introduction. Hi, my name's Steve Mills, 28 years, uh, written uh, four books on marketing. Today, I'm going to talk about X, Y, Z. That's important to you because blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, and then we do the pattern interrupt. Oh, before I do, let me just tell you about this event. Let me just tell you about such and such. Let me just make you an offer about something, right? So that's the first sort of three three steps. So step four is then you talk about the topic, whatever value, you know, today, uh, you know, you might, have, you might have said today, I'm going to give you three keys to improving the look of your car. Okay, three keys for being happy and successful, whatever it is, then you give them the three keys, whatever they may be. And then when you've done that, the next step is to recap on that. So today, what we spoke about was this, this, and this. That's what I've just already done with you, isn't it? I recapped on the first three. I said, right, the first one was introduce yourself. Then today we're going to talk about. Then, oh, there's a pattern interrupt. Then you give them the value, and then you recap. So I've just 
explained about what I mean about recapping by recapping, if that makes any sense at all. Next, you're going to uh, talk about the call to action, what you're going to do. So I might say something like, so if you've enjoyed today and you've got some real value from this video, what I suggest you do is go to my website, steve-mills.com, and book a one-to-one -one meeting with me where we can talk about your business, your marketing, and how it might be improved. To do that, go to steve-mills.com. Okay, so that's the next step. Then we sort of do a little bit of a pattern interrupt again. I'd say, oh, yeah, and before I go, can I ask you, if you've enjoyed this video, to like it, comment on it, and then ideally to share it with others so that they benefit too. Thanks ever so much in anticipation. Um, and, you know, thanks again for listening. Okay, so they're the six steps. That's it. And, uh, you know, it, it will help you improve having a structure. Just, you know, you might not use exactly my structure. I'm really sorry, but because I'm late... My Alexa is uh, making a noise in the background, so I'm just going to tell it to shut up. Alexa, off. Okay, I should have started. I've got a meeting in a couple of minutes, so it's just warning me about that meeting. So apologies. Things are not perfect in Steve's world right now. Technology has been letting me down. But do you know what? We've managed to do it. We've managed to get through it, which is the main thing. So I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for being here. Uh, I will say, just to finish off, can you like, <laughs> comment, and ideally share this video? So thank you ever so much for being here. And if you do want to book a meeting with me, then again, go to steve-mills.com and get that meeting booked. And we can talk about how to uh, grow your business from there. So thank you ever so much for being here. And I'll see you again, hopefully tomorrow. Thank you.